Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he. And to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. So many times in life we tend to fall into the trap of trying to find the least common denominator or performing our daily tasks in a way that requires the least possible effort. We want to give only what is expected of us, no more or no less. Unfortunately, this minimalist thinking and effort often infiltrates our spiritual life as well. We want to know how much is the least we can do and still be pleasing to God. Rarely do we seem to understand that serving God is a matter of the heart. We do so because we love Him and desire to please Him, rather than because we are seeking to earn His approval. Consider these thoughts from God is No Fool by Lois Cheney. And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind. How much money do I have to give to the church to be a good Christian? There was one I loved, and it came time to buy a gift. What I wanted to give cost too much and was out of the question. But I saved, and went without, and bought the gift, and I was deeply happy. How much time do I have to give to the church to be a good Christian? There was one I loved, and I dreaded our separations, and we planned and devised ways to find time to be together, to talk together, to work together, to laugh together, and when we were together, I lost track of time, and I was deeply happy. How much of my behavior do I have to have regulated by God in order to be a good Christian? There was one I loved, and I wanted his respect. I was careful with my language, careful in my work. I lived as truly as I could, so he would nod his head in approval. With him or away from him, I acted in a way I thought he would admire. And as I strove thus to be more than myself, I was deeply happy. God, forgive us. What about you today? Are you loving, serving, and obeying God from your heart? Why not turn to Him today and give Him all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. In sin I wandered, talents I squandered, I did not need, my brother, him who I need. Then Jesus found me, from sin unbound me, telling the world about his love. I love to sing about our King, and make his praises gladly read. It is life, a 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 life, a